Good morning from our yurt in Desert Hot Springs. We had Elaineth, an early riser this morning, which that was stunning. Look how cute it is. It's pretty spacious too. Okay. Humans are kind of tall. Let's go outside and see how the weather is. Elena claimed it was nice. Man, super nice morning. It really is gorgeous. The camera's not going to do it justice on um, how pretty the mountains are because you're just so close. The mountains. Let's go look at the little chick chicks. Aww. You guys are so cute. Are you hungry? The chickens are adorable. Hear that? I'm sure you can hear the birds. The birds sound like a recording track. It doesn't even sound real. It's pretty dope to hear all these unique bird sounds and bird calls that you don't hear in the valley just five, six hours up north from here. Look behind me. Yeah, that's, that's the view we get right behind us. It's really pretty, really peaceful out here. Pretty quiet too for being in a towny neighborhood. There's some houses on the hill up behind this thing. They're kind of far away and up. So unless they're really loud, you really can't hear them. So I think this morning we're gonna go to Joshua Tree. But first there's a breakfast bar up front that we're gonna go eat some oatmeal at and get some coffee. Lane is already whispering about coffee. Look at this professional photographer. Let's see if I can get the moon in the shot. You wanna go to the breakfast bar? Yeah. You gonna walk beside me or no? Yeah. You gonna be in the vlog? <laughs> <laughs> you are in such wonder, hun. Mm -hmm. oh, I goodness. never wake up this early. <laughs> I know, you and never wake outside. up this early and are outside. It truly is stunning. The only time I do this on vacation, I roll out of bed the crack of dawn. Yep. If I'm in Hawaii, you'll see me swimming in the ocean <laughs> at 6 a.m. <laughs> It's funny. It's your instruction. You're a master. No one's gonna hear your funny little words if you don't speak up. Ooh, the sun's going up. We beat this up. Look at that, we beat the sun up today. Yeah, I do it more often than not. It's not that big a deal, except it's vacation and we still beat the sun up. When you're camping outside Elena's right though, it just kind of happens. Especially if you're on vacay. Really pretty. We have coffee ASMR going on right now. These homeowners have a pretty sweet view every morning and the weather in desert palms is supposed to be some of the best well desert hot springs my bad it's supposed to be some of the best in the world i can see why i'll have to show you the koi fishies at night you can't see them very well during the day Yes, now grip it and then now take a sip like you're just dying to sip that coffee. Close your eyes, mm. take a deep breath. <laughs> All right, we're in Joshua Tree now. Elena spotted this really cool rock formation on the road as we were driving in. I didn't show you guys how I'm standing on like this cool rock out crop over here. So Elena, come tell the camera about your awesome Sacagawea navigation skills. Well, I'm just always able 
to get back. My whole life, doesn't matter where I go, if I'm hiking, riding a horse, riding a bike, I can go out and pretty much I've never not been able to find my way back. And she has a good internal compass to go back to start, basically yeah. like a homing pigeon. That's a pretty <laughs> a cool skill pigeon. to have, honestly. And I can confirm that she actually does have this skill and she's not making it up because she does the same thing when driving a car. I won't know how to backtrack my route and get back to where I went and she will. Any of these nature videos I watch on YouTube or on a documentary on TV or something, like I said, the cameras just don't capture it. Like it can look okay on a camera, but it's way prettier once you're actually here. Lane and I have been finding a lot of big quartz rocks up there in the gully. And where there's quartz, there's gold. We're gonna find a big gold nugget here. That'd be sweet. We're gonna start Gold Rush 2.0. We're here at School Rock now. It really does look like a school nose, eye, other eye around the corner. It's very peaceful up here. I wanted to go sit on this rock. It looked like a seat to me. But then it was the sense it was. But then it was the sense it was. But then it was it's at the tippy top of the mountain, it was getting pummeled by the wind. Plus the rock, it doesn't, once I got up there. Plus the rock, it doesn't, once I got up there. Cause I actually crawled up there and touched it. It wasn't as secure as it looked from down below. So I wasn't too keen on just sitting on top, but. And this spot's nice. This spot was awesome and it's protected by the wind. Cause we're a little lower from the peak. And the sun's shining right on us as you can see. And it's just absolutely beautiful. I feel super fortunate to be here right now. It's awesome. You gotta make yourself sometimes take time off and come to a natural spot like this and recharge. Feels great. Any comments? Yeah, I'm also just feeling recharged and enjoying the sun and the peace and quiet. It's very nice. Look how big that is. No, I didn't record it. Shh, quiet. There was a jackrabbit that was huge. I didn't know jackrabbits could be that big. It has big long ears. That's what I saw when I was coming here. Mm -hmm. 